C.S. Lewis said that Earth is enemy-occupied territory. A great battle is raging all around us. A battle that began in the Garden of Eden between God and the devil, heaven and hell. A battle that every man, woman, and child is caught up in. A battle for the heart and soul of man. Now that is why God created men with a warrior spirit within them. God created men to stand with him as allies in the battle against evil forces that are coming against our families, our churches, our communities, and yeah, even the, the nation. There's a God-given fierceness within the heart of a boy, a warrior spirit that is to be trained and guided into a force for righteousness. Today, the enemies of God have near total control of boys, and stomping out that warrior spirit is one of their top priorities. Instead of growing into men of honor, modern boyhood often leads to weakness, uselessness, and a deep sense of abiding worthlessness. A boy who has been emasculated from his God-given warrior spirit is a boy defeated. Turning little boys into little girls means the enemy wins. And John Eldridge, in his book, Wild at Heart, tells the story of a huge lion in the local zoo. He says that living in a cage for years, the lion no longer believes it is a lion. Well, the boys and young men of America have been caged, and many of them have been castrated mentally, spiritually, and sadly for some, even physically. The transgender nonsense is total surrender to the devil who hates and fears God-given masculinity. This is why boys need masculine, God-inspired men in their lives. There comes a time in a boy's life when he no longer draws his identity from his mother. There's a switch that flips, and then he begins to draw his identity from his father. And if father isn't there, the world gets a spiritually crippled young man. That's where we are today. And the left, the enemies of God, are determined to cripple as many boys as possible. Most American men have never been initiated into manhood. They've never had anyone show them how to do it. The failure of so many fathers, the emasculating culture, and a pathologically passive church have left American men drifting with no true knowledge of who God created them to be. A man needs a battle to fight. If you doubt that, just look at movies that are made for men. A few days ago, my neighbor, Jen, asked me if I had seen The Sound of Music. When I said no, she was incredulous and asked why. Well, being a natural wise guy, I said, because nothing gets blown up. Well, she rolled her eyes and that was the end of the conversation. Yes, I was joking, but there was a spiritual truth buried within my answer. When men want to see something blown up, what they're saying is that they want to see evil defeated. Men need to have a battle to fight. That's how God designed us. Well, the battles are raging all around us. Most men, however, are sitting on the sidelines, feeling lost and useless. That needs to change. This is Wild Bill for America. Thank you for watching, and America, bless God again.